Hi everyone on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and football fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts about Week 18 and my picks for the 2023-2024 wildcard predictions. Check it out. Well, for um, the start off for the week, let me say my congratulations to the Michigan Wolverines for winning the college football um, national championship this past week. Um, I think it was um, Tuesday or what? I think it was like yesterday or something like that, or Monday or something like that. So anyways, congratulations to uh, Michigan for being the national champions in college football. And congratulations to Jim Harbaugh, who got a national championship So, with Michigan. And probably Michigan's first championship since 1996 when they had that uh, that tie. So anyways, that's a, um, I want to say my congratulations to the Michigan Wolverines for winning their championship. And also, um, uh, congratulations to this year's NFL season. We had a... After this past week 18, this is the first time since 2017, I think it was, since uh, since we had no ties in the NFL. So we came through the season with no ties the first time since 2017. So that's congratulations to the um, NFL, their part on that, which who the, who likes ties anyway? So anyways, that being said, uh, for straight up this week, I went 10 and 6. Pretty good solid week on that one. And against the spread... Went 11-4-1 overall year with one push. What can you do about that one? And over and under, I went back under the over the 500 mark. So I went the 2-1 and one on that one. So I'm 34-29 and 29 overall in the year. And to that, you know, that I'm straight up I'm, I'm for the season. I went 67-99 and 99 overall in the year. Made a go on that one. I went under 500, under, under 100 on, on that one. Under 100 losses, I should say. Excuse me on that one. So that was a really good one. So 167.99 overall in the year, pretty good on that one. And for against the spread, I'm 135 and 113 and 14 pushes overall. So that's pretty good. And over and under, I'm 34 and 29. So pretty good to wrap up the season. Now let's get on to the big ones. That's when it's going to get really interesting with the with the wild card predictions. So anyways, that being said, Pittsburgh and Baltimore. Pittsburgh got in, they're in. So Houston and Indianapolis. Houston won. Well, I'll tell you what happened with them in a bit in for the after the Houston Indianapolis game. New Orleans and Atlanta. New Orleans won. That's all I can tell you. Cincinnati and Cleveland. Cincinnati got the win from them. And speaking of uh, Cincinnati and Cleveland, Pittsburgh and Baltimore. Congratulations to the NFC. Um, for the, I mean the AFC North, which I believe is the first time since 1935 that every team went over 500 in that division. So congratulations to them. That could have been the toughest division in football. Anyone could have won that division. So anyways, continuing on with that. Now with Jacksonville and Cleveland. Now with um, Houston won. Jacksonville lost. Houston got the AFC South. They're out of the playoffs. Jacksonville's out of the playoffs. That was a heartbreaker because that's what I had from the beginning. I got Jacksonville winning the division on that one. So that was a tough breaker on that one. And I think for the beginning of the year, which, uh, which I'll get to that one a bit, so... My early picks for 2023, which I got right here. So Detroit and Minnesota, which Detroit was my my NFC uh, North winners. So, but they didn't get the number two seed, but that's okay. But anyways, I had the Saints winning it, but they didn't get that. So Tampa Bay won that one, which I'll get to the Tampa in a bit. Yeah, my Jets and my Patriots. The Jets want, finally won't beat my Patriots since 2015. That's all I can say. So Tampa Bay and Carolina. Congratulations to Tampa Bay. They got the um, NFC South. Chicago and Green Bay, congratulations to Green Bay. They're in the playoffs. The LA Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs, I've got to say, Green, Kansas City won. Philadelphia and the New York Giants, the New York Giants won. They got their Super Bowl. They beat Philadelphia. Dallas and in Washington, congratulations to Dallas. They got the division. For the eight, NFC East, and for not my knowledge, in the state list, I was wrong about Dallas. I really was. So I believe I had. Um, did I say Dallas? Who was gonna? Yeah, I did pick Dallas to win that division. The only one I got wrong out of that in the wild card spot was the New York Giants, which they had a disappointment year. But other than that, though, you know, I did get the division right on that one, so it was continuing on. So Vegas and Denver. So um, hey, Vegas won. Who else to tell you? And the Rams in San Francisco, hey, the Rams won, and they got, they're got in the playoffs. That's all I can say. Arizona and Seattle, well, 
Arizona did. I did pick Arizona, but Seattle won. But Arizona covered. That's all I can say. Miami and Buffalo. I was wrong about that game. I thought Miami would want that division, but they didn't have and They played horribly. Buffalo came back and won that division. Probably one of the greatest comeback in division history, I could say the least. Hey, I was wrong. What can I tell you? Anyways, continuing on with that. How am I picking? Now we got the wild card playoffs. Cleveland and Houston. Kansas City and Miami. Buffalo and Pittsburgh. Dallas and Green Bay. Rams and Detroit. Philadelphia and Tampa Bay. Well, to say the least on my knowledge on that one, who am I picking the playoffs? I thought I was way off on the Carolina Panthers. Really bad on that one. So that throw that one out the window. I was wrong about the New York Giants too, which I had them respectively for the Panthers seven and the Giants six. But I did get the Rams in there, and but they're a wild card spot. But San Francisco got it. I was right. I was wrong about the Saints. They're out of the playoffs, but Tampa Bay got it in. And I was the only one I was right in that division. Two of them was Detroit and Dallas. So out of that one, out of the AFC picture though. I did for the AFC South. I did pick Jacksonville to win. I was wrong on that one. Hey, what can you say on that one? I had Tennessee. I was wrong on that on the wild card spot, but hey, I was wrong on that one too. I was wrong about the Bengals, but hey, they they were over five hundred. But I had Baltimore number six, but Baltimore got the division. But Cleveland got in and out of respectfully. But the the a and NFC West, I did pick the Chiefs. In number one, which that was right, and I had the LA charge again in the wild card, but that didn't happen. That ended up being, I believe it was, hold on, it was Miami. So, okay. So, I was, it was Miami, and I had the uh, Buffalo Bills in the AFC East, which that one turned out in the end. What can you say the least on that one? So, anyways, I was wrong on, right on some game, some predictions. I was wrong on some, on some of these. So, what can you do? I was two and two on both of them. Both the AFC and, and my um, NFC early predictions in their division. So, hey, what can I say on that one? Anyways, that being said, that's my thoughts about Week 18. Let's get on to my um, my wild card predictions. Okay, we're going to kick things off with the Cleveland and Houston. I believe that's the Saturday game. So, we have two Saturday games, I believe it is, if I'm wrong. So, anyways, continuing on with that, we're going to take the Cleveland Browns and in the, in the, in the Cleveland Browns and Houston. So this game, this is a really good moment for Houston, but it comes to a high price with the Cleveland Browns, who are really hungry for a playoff spot. And they're in, in there, and I believe it's the first time they're in the playoffs since Baker Mayfield was in there in 2016, if I remember correctly. But anyways, continuing on with that, Cleveland is on the on the rise. They, I think they really wanted. They, I think they were going to be really motivated. As for Houston, they're probably happy, and they're in the wild card. And they're in the playoffs. They won the division. They're out to celebrate. But I think this is going to. I hate to say it, I like C.J. Straw, but this is going to be a lesson for him. For there, and then Cleveland, who has a veteran core like Joe Flacco, has been in there before and stuff like that. So, I think I'm going to take Cleveland Browns over Houston and win this game, despite the fact it's in Houston. But on the line, though, Cleveland is favored by two and a half in this game. I'm going to take Cleveland minus two and a half. Over and under, it's 44. I'm going to go over under 44. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins. Now, but this game, I expect to be a high-flying offense, but not the not what you think it is. But now, Kansas City needs to step up the plate for the wild for um for uh, for whoever for Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes. Of course, he also needs help on wide receiver core. That's going to be a big question mark on that one. And Miami's going to be really upset about what happened, but. But the only difference is, Kansas City has a really good, solid defense. Don't get me wrong, Miami has a great defense too, but they have a much better offense. But if Kansas City can slow down Miami's offense, they have a slight chance of winning this game. And I think that's exactly what they're going to do. They're at home, and I think they're going to do that. So I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs over the Miami Dolphins to win. On the line now, the can't the Kansas City Chiefs have favored by three and a half in this game. I'm gonna take Kansas City minus three and a half. Over and under, it's forty three and a half. It's a small price to pay, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm, I'm gonna go over forty three and a half. The Buffalo Bills and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now Buffalo's at home. They're gonna. It's a big thing. They're probably lucky to be in the playoffs, but now they're playing a really tough Pittsburgh Steelers defense who. Defensively, they've been playing really well. So, and for Pittsburgh, 
it was a long haul to get there, but they finally made it. But, you know, but I think for Mason Rudolph going to the play, uh, playoffs right now, that was a really good solid run for Mason Rudolph, but all good things must come to an end for him. So I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills over the Pittsburgh Steelers to win in that game. But on the line, though, Buffalo is favored by 10 in this game. That's way too many points because of Pittsburgh's defense on this game. I think it's going to be too close of a game. I really think it's going to be a really good one. So I'm going to take Pittsburgh over. I'm going to plus 10. Over and under, it's 38 and a half. I'm going to go over 38 and a half. I really think this is going to be going up in the 20s on this one. So I expect it to be really a good game. I, I If I had to pick an overtime game, I think this game is it. And if you ask me if that's the case, this would be a great, great moment for Buffalo, for Josh Allen, for finally getting a playoff win in overtime. And to be in the playoffs too. So... That's something key knowledge on that one. Anyways, continuing on with that. With the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. Now for this game, Dallas is like too strong on strong on both sides of the ball. I think this is a really, really good really matchup for Green Bay too. If they ask me who has the much better defense, Dallas. Who has a great better offense? Green Bay. So this is gonna go down to but like come to battle, but hey, for um for Jordan Love, like um, C.J. Stroud, this is going to be his first playoff experience. It's going to be a small price to pay on this one for Green Bay, but it's going to be a learning experience. So, anyways, that being said, I think I'm going to take um, the Dallas Cowboys over the Green Bay Packers to win. On the line, though, Dallas is favored by 7.5 in this game. I'm going to take Dallas minus 7.5. Over and under, it's 49. I'm going to expect some fireworks on this one. I'm going to pick over 49.5. In fact, if I'm going to have to pick a game that can be over 30, this game's it. I think both teams can get over 30, like at least both respectively, like Dallas get 30 points and get Green Bay get 30 points. I expect that game to be that. The LA Rams and the Detroit Lions. Now for this game, this is a homecoming for Matthew Stafford, so he's got to be motivated. Detroit's going to be mot- motivated. This is the first playoff home. It'll be the first playoff home game, I believe, it's since the 90s. So this is really good for Detroit on this one, too. So anyways, to say the least on this one, as I expect, defensively, they've not been impressive lately. But Detroit's defense is getting there down the road. So if they can have this offense, have a much better defense next year, expect that team to go far. Not this, not this time around. Continuing on with that, I'm going to take the, the upset here. I'm going to take the LA Rams over the Detroit Lions to win this game in Detroit. On the line, the, the Detroit Lions are favored by three in this game. I'm going to take the Rams plus three. Over and under, it's 51 and a half. Now with the Rams defense has been playing, I kind of expect to be on the low end in this one. So I'm going to take under 51 and a half to win. That's too many points for me for this one. The Phil- And the last game, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now for this game, Philadelphia must be really upset not getting the division. They're taking on, they're, they're actually going to take it out on Tampa Bay. And they're going to probably dominate them in that set in there. But congratulations to Baker Mayfield. He's in the playoffs. So anyways, that being said, I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this game. On the line, Tampa Bay is going to... Is, I mean, um, Philadelphia is favored by 2.5 in this game. It's in Tampa Bay, though. That's what I meant to say. But Philadelphia is favored by 2.5 in this game. I'm going to take Philadelphia minus 2.5. Over and under, it's 44. I'm going to go over 44 in this game. I think this could go at least... Like, I'm going to take Tampa Bay at a, at a garbage type touchdown to make it... 10 or something like that. So I'm going to go for the... Yeah, I'm going to go like 34 to 10 or something like that. So, like that. All right. In that game. So, so and anyways, that being said, I'm not into score predictions like I should have done. For, um, for Cleveland and Houston, I'll, I'll take that game 20 to 17. And for Kansas City, Miami, I'm probably going to say 24 to 21. Now, Kansas City, Buffalo, probably going to say the least. I'm probably going to say 31 to 28. Dallas and Green Bay, I expect to be a blow. Like I mentioned, I expect to be in the 30s on this one. I'll say 38 to 31. I'm Dallas in that game. And the Rams in in Detroit, I I picked the up like I mentioned, I picked the upset. I'm gonna say 
20 Rams. So anyways, Kansas City straight up. I mean, uh, anyways, starting off with Cleveland, I take Cleveland straight up. Cleveland minus 2.5 and, and under 44.5, 20-17 score. Chiefs in Miami, I picked the Chiefs. Chiefs minus 3.5, over 43.5. I'm going to say 24-21. Buffalo and um, Pittsburgh, I say um, 38, 31-28 Buffalo in this game. And for Dallas and Green Bay, I'm going to, like I mentioned, I picked uh, Dallas and Tampa Bay. Dallas over Tampa Bay. Uh, da- Dallas minus 7.5, over 49 38-31. Rams in Detroit. I did pick the Rams as the upset. Rams plus three. Under 51, 23-20. Philadelphia and Tampa Bay. I picked Philadelphia to win. I picked Philadelphia minus two and a half. Over 44. I'm going to go with 34 to 10. So if I had to pick a push for the over and under, that's probably going to be it. Okay, a big shout out this week is Justin's Bridge Fighters Finders on YouTube. Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. Check him out and on his um, YouTube page and Twitter and the rest of the NFL YouTube prognosticator page in the description down below right here. Until then, this is Andrew Warren and Bella signing off saying rock out.